Hey, hello, and how are you? In this video, I'm going to be revisiting an old friend. Yeah. Now, these aren't readily available in Australia. Uh, I got this in the international section of the Woolies, uh, you know, international food section. Amidst the Asian and the Oriental stuff, Asian and Indian women. Um, but yeah, pot noodle. Uh, the only one they have uh, available, chicken and mushroom, which is uh, out of all the ones I've had, not, it's not been many to be honest, uh, is my favourite. This is one I used to always go for when I went to the shops with my granny on a Saturday morning when I was a bit of a youngster. A bit of a youngster? Yeah, when I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I don't think I've had one since I've been in Australia, I'm pretty sure. If I have it, it was years ago. So, uh, yeah, the slag of all snacks. It was a big advertising campaign back in the UK, back about 25 years ago, roughly, maybe more. Excuse me, do you do pot noodle? Pot noodle. No, pot noodle. Um, yeah, and it, then it ended with like pot noodle, the slag of all snacks. Do you do pot noodle? Round the back in two minutes. Mm. Mm. Oh, that felt so wrong and yet it felt so right. Pot noodle, the slag of all snacks. Uh, for those who don't know, the word slag in the UK is a, a, derogatory, a derogatory term referring to someone who fucks a lot. It's mainly aimed at women. It's a horrible fucking word. Um, it's used by cunts and wankers. Uh, but yeah, anyway. I'm gonna have some pot noodle. <laughs> yeah, let's, 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 right, let's lighten the tunnel. Talking about the slag of all snacks and that. Um, so yeah, I'll just get the kettle boiled uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll get rocking. Okay, so the kettle is boiled. So now it's time to unleash the beast. There you go. Save time cooking to realise your potential. <laughs> the fuck? Don't bother cooking. Get a pot noodle, then you'll have time to realise your potential. Fucking hell. <laughs> anyway. Uh, as with this chicken and mushroom pot noodle, you get a soy sauce. I don't usually, well, I never used to bother putting the soy sauce in, but you know. For the sake of this video and complete disclosure, I'm going to do it. Hey, look at, look at, all, look at how all that MSG and shite melts away. Yeah, I used to I tend to put it above the fill line because I want I, yeah. Okay, um, the soy sauce in there. Okay, now we'll just uh, wait for that to uh, absorb the water. May take a minute or three, so uh, we'll get back to you. Oh shit! Devil gun pissed in my shoe. Psycho killer, Jessica said. Thank you. 
Okay, so let's uh, there we there we are. It's uh, yeah, it's floating a bit, but you know, let's give it a bit of a mix. Does it need longer? Well, it's been, it's been a couple of minutes at least. You know, it's Sarah here. Does it actually give you a time frame? Leave for another. Oh, all right, peel the lid, remove packet, pour boiling, and remove the sachet. Pour boiling water to fill level cover. Oh, you're supposed to recover it with the lid. Oh. Leave for two minutes. Stir in the sachet contents. Leave for another two minutes. Now you check out pot noodle out. <coughs> Thank you, Abby. I'll be right, it'll be right. Okay, blocking out the splash. <clears throat> Hot. It's hot. That'll be boiling water, that's what that'll be. That'll be that boiling water you just put in there. That's why it's hot. That'll be that boiling water. <clears throat> Instantly getting those pot noodle memories flooding back. <clears throat> Not that I have but pot noodle memories. <laughs> oh, those heady days of pot noodles. But you know, I've been eating them in the past years and years ago. <clears throat> This is a very unique noodle they have in there. It's not like you're um, like getting packets, like, you know, your ramen noodles, whatever it's called. It's kind of a very a bit different to that. But yeah, need to get online and import some, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, a big variety box of pot noodles or something. And they are, there are shops online, you know, you can get like. British foods, American foods, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Explore the wonders that is pop noodle. That lovely, <clears throat> that lovely soup it's floating about in. <clears throat> Where the fucking, what is the nutritional value of these fucking things? You've got 9.8 grams of protein, 16 grams of fat, 7.9 of which is saturated, 58 grams of carbs. <clears throat> yeah, not bad, you know. I can remember doing is uh, mm. you drink the soup out of it, you always catch a, a bit of sweet corn. <clears throat> Occasionally, you find a lump of a uh, unliquefied powder in there. Is it really pleasant? But <clears throat> it's all part of the experience. Hell. See that? Nearly went over the hell I've been a fucking hell. It might have been entertaining for the video, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure my reaction would have uh, given, given you literally seconds of hilarity. Anyway. Mm. <clears throat> I've been to do a pot noodle video for ages. I bought one twice before. It's been sat in the cupboard, like waiting for me to do a video on it. Before I got to doing a video, my fucking son gets to it. It was 
which is fair enough, because I'd leave it in there for young, so I'd say, oh, we'll do it some other fucking time. But yeah, it's been a fermenting in my head for young. Know, probably not turned out as uh, as good as what I pictured it in my mind. But. Yeah. <clears throat> at least it's out there. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, pot noodles. They're getting bad rap pot noodles, right? There's not a whole slag of snacks marketing campaign, you know. I think I think they were assuming their demographic was kind of like chubby and that. Or they were trying to market him to them. It's like, ah, I'm a pot noodle dickhead. You know? But you know, no, these are you know popular amongst students. You know, when you you know on a tight budget. Or you're strapped for time as well. Just get a pot noodle in there and you know. I remember one of my teachers at high school, they said they used to live on pot noodles when they were at university, you know. I think they said it was the beef and tomato ones. I think I've had one of them once. It's the idea it never sounded nice, but I think it was the tomato. <laughs> I think it was the tomato aspect that I didn't dig. I have had one actually, it was really nice because the tomato aspect was just, it was tomato sauce. And it was nice, yeah. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna get some imported, <laughs> import some pot noodles. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Pot noodles are awesome. Yeah, you can have it as a snack, as, as a beverage as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Camera, camera's not, it's been lopsided, it's been, it's been lopsided to varying degrees, this whole entire video, I keep talking about it, but it'd be right, it'd be right. Call it a Dutch angle, yeah. Film, film noir, film pot noodle noir, <laughs> pot noir. <laughs> that could be a new flavour, pot noir. What would you have in it? Uh, squid ink and mushroom or some shit. <sighs> be legendary. Never chicken out. Make your wildest dreams mushroom into reality. See what they did there www.potnoodle.com What the fuck is that? www.potnoodle.com can, can you buy them directly from? Hey, maybe you can. Maybe they go international as well. Maybe you can get a big fucking badge of them. Maybe worth checking out. But yeah, besides that, what else is it? The history of the pot noodle? Probably, yeah. Probably got some. <laughs> yeah. Make your wildest dreams mushroom into reality. The United States, well, it says it, you know. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe if you did. And until next time, keep that pot rocking. Right. Goodbye.